Then we're starting. Okay, getting the recording going. Okay, got it. There we go. And hello, everybody. How are you? Good to see you. Hope this camera keeps working. It froze up on me earlier. But who cares, right? This is our Christmas edition. I said I would do it on Christmas, and so here I am doing it on Christmas. Okay, you happy? Let me just make sure we're doing okay here. Uh so that uh, why we have our ah there we go we're running up and running okay and we have a, quite a few people here who are ready to be part of our uh, our little gathering today so uh, let's admit them all okay here they come Charlie Wallace Marjorie Miller uh, Andrew Deutsch is with us um, let's see here uh, who else Len Charlie Wallace Brian Neary. Wow, that's kind of nice. And, and of course, Edward Berger. That's mm -hmm. right. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not getting Adrian for that Santa Claus. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I had a Santa burger for lunch. Yeah, yeah this, right. is, this is the other Santa Claus that we have. That, that's right. Yeah, we usually, uh, what's his name? Uh, Kevin, stop right. it. Uh, right. Is the official Santa Claus because. Yeah. He looks like Santa Claus. He just right, put right. a suit on, and he's you know he's ready to right. go. But that that's fake, isn't it? Or did you right. write over the week? Right. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, so I I thought we would do the show today uh, just for the hell of it. You know, I didn't think a lot of people would show up, and we've got about seven right here. And you're right; no one showed up. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Marjorie. That's fire. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, she now what we're doing, tell them what we're what we're doing. You've got the uh we're doing a Jewish Christmas afternoon. <laughs> Chinese <Yeah>. food. <laughs> Chinese food and a great western. Of course. <laughs> yeah, we watched uh, what I consider one of the best westerns of all time, Tombstone. Ah, yes, 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 yes. I think one of the most underrated films of all time. Mm -hmm. you know, they go through listing the great Westerns and so on and blah, blah, blah. And they never mention Tombstone. That lineup, the the lineup in that that cast was awesome. Oh, unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. But it wasn't just a cast. It's, it's a real good Western, you know? What we watch Westerns for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So later today, I'm going to show her the searchers, which she says. No, no, no. It's too much in one day, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> it's too much in one day. You said. Sorry. You we have Doctor Who. We have Doctor Who to watch. Oh, we have oh. Doctor Who to watch. Yeah, it's probably up now. They they said on Disney, Doctor Who on Christmas Day. So you go to it on Christmas Day and it isn't there. It's not there. They're waiting for it to play in England, I think. And then they're releasing it here. Oh, they couldn't. They couldn't put down Christmas Day at six p.m. Eastern time or whatever. No. How about just twenty-four hours Christmas Day? What do you mean the twenty-four hour Christmas Day? Any time, just download it. So well, it's once it's midnight, they should be showing it, right? Yeah, exactly. Unless they say, "Hey, starting at six p.m. or whatever." Occasionally, yeah. they do that on some of those channels. No, they don't. Yeah, but what was it? Where, where was it? We went and they didn't have it on yet. Something, and we, well, Doctor Who. No, not Doctor I've Who. Gone there half a dozen times today. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> there was something else. It was posted. I'm saying there was some other movie we were going to watch, and they didn't have it on until later that evening. I can all remember Doctor Who. Okay, can you guys fight on your own time. Yeah, we only, get, we only get you for an hour. Right. <laughs> yeah. Do, do you guys? Do you guys hear the noise? Do you guys hear this? No. What's that? Do you hear it? No. no. Exactly. <laughs> I kicked everybody out of the house. Oh. 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 Oh, so, so you could watch. I the got Eagles the Warriors game. game on right now. I got the oh. Eagles coming on. I got the 49ers to lose. And then they said, oh, we're going to go over to my parents. And I said, they have no cable. I'm not going to your parents. And they said, oh, they could come here. And I said, no, they can't. 
I'm out the man, here. damn it. Uh, out of here. I'm the man. Yeah. Get him out. Look, Is there one look. person still <laughs> left there? Looking. Is there one person still left there? No, nobody's. I kicked everybody out. Oh, wow. All right. Because you were looking, quite sure, though. looking to see if they now, I'll, I'll just play that joke, you know, all oh, over the wife. This I make the rules, and then you know, oh, honey, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. The Raiders game was good, and then this yeah. game, Warriors game, is good. There's some good football. Yeah, don't. Right. I'm sorry, you're Charlie, watching gonna ruin it. the rest of your day later, but uh, <laughs> while you're watching it, don't give us we'll any see what description. <laughs> don't give us any description. Oh yeah, because you know, it's a lot cool. to. Uh, Oh, Curry. Yeah. So, Brian, would the oh, joke be as funny if, if listen, <laughs> would the joke be as funny if you told it with your wife in the room? We don't care. Oh, Eagles, yeah. Oh, Eagles, okay. They're, I my shirt they're for today. They are, they're they're rather big good. favorites today. What does that oh, say? Call me old fashioned. And, and that's that's a drink. <laughs> that's a what? Bourbon trail. Kentucky bourbon, it says. Uh, Kentucky uh, bourbon yeah. trail. Oh, okay. Okay. My wife uh, volunteers at the Fraser History Museum, and they've got a bourbon exhibit going down there now. Oh, really? Oh, wow. that, that sounds like fun. Samples? Yeah. <laughs> no samples. <laughs> no, but you can buy bourbon for a discount at the gift shop. Oh. That sounds good. I took I toured the Bacardi factory in Puerto Rico many years ago. And that yes. Was I, <laughs> me too. I loved it. Yeah, yeah I did that too. We, we actually kind of got thrown out of there. They we, we sat at the end there and, and we're drinking a little bit too much. And they said, yeah, you group, you, you guys need to go. <laughs> My first job out of college was at a distillery. Oh, no. Really? Oh, wow. I, yeah. I used to sell and you'll be uh, all the... You'll be surprised. The quality control department, okay, where they check the quality of each batch. Mm-hmm. The liquor never touches their lips. Mm. Okay. Really? It's all with a smell. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. That's quite a, a, a thing to do. Yeah, there's, there's, there's testers that do that. They have an amazing sense of smell. Okay, explain to me now. Is bourbon a whiskey? Yes. Yes. Okay. But what is the difference between, say, bourbon and whiskey? There's Irish whiskey, there's Scotch whiskey, there's Tennessee whiskey, but only bourbon can be made in Kentucky. Oh, okay. Much like champagne can only be made in France. Exactly. Well, so in they the say. No, they don't. They don't make champagne here. They can't put champagne on the bottle. They call it sparkling wine. Sparkling wine. Yeah, they gotta call it that. Yeah. Yeah, but they can't call it champagne because it has to be from the Champagne region of France. Yeah, well, a lot of people think that Jack Daniels is bourbon, but it's not. It's Tennessee whiskey. Yeah, I, know. I, I yeah. never thought of it as bourbon. But in other words, if I drank a whiskey or I drank a bourbon, I'm pretty much drinking the same basic liquor, right? Yeah, I sold, I sold into that market that for years. It's yeah. very there's a very strict laws about each of the names and in, in liquor. For for example, the type of an oak barrel that can be used and all of those things. Yep. We oh. we we invented a hybrid aging system and only in certain ways were they allowed to call what was aged in our barrels whiskey. I see. There's there's a law specific. The the law for whiskey says that it has to be aged in an oak barrel with metal hoops. And but it never defined how much oak there had to be. And ours was a was a hybrid model that was a stainless body with oak ends. And the final ruling was there wasn't enough oak in our oak barrel to to qualify for that name. So they, really? they created a new name called American whiskey, which allowed people to use our product. There's also Canadian whiskey. Hmm. Yeah, but that's just made with bacon. <laughs> what, a, what a great <laughs> Christmas! Dis, what a great Christmas discussion we're having here. Actually, yeah. Canadian whiskey is made a lot like other American whiskeys, but they use they they age their Canadian whiskey in used oak barrels. And, and by law, they're supposed to apologize for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Too bad we don't have uh, our Canadian friend on here to yeah. dispute that. Oh, yeah, he can he can yeah. Yeah. He well, was he was gonna come on, but he had to apologize for something. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and we're missing a couple of people today who I assume because it's Christmas. I mean, come yeah. on. Yeah, where's Mandy? I thought she loved you, and I thought you guys remember when oh. she 
No commitment. But she probably got family. She's you know. probably with that guy she was with last. Oh, week. Yeah. 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 oh what's that thing? His name? Aubert or whatever. Henri. 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 Hey, good to see you. What she went on a cruise with. Yeah. 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 Boy, oh boy. Yeah. Well, I had to ask Brian if you were going to have a show because I'm not on Facebook. Oh, no. okay. all right. Oh, by the way, thanks for the card. I, I didn't know any way to get back to you because I don't think I have your email here. So well, I've sent it to you on email. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> you're talking about you're talking about the e card I sent you? you know, yeah, but it doesn't it it's an e card. But and you the return is is now, the e card like... company. Yeah. Not yeah. your address. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, well, my my email is easy. It's vcnun at gmail.com. VC <laughs> so and they'll never remember. Right. <laughs> Yeah, now the Chinese know. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm you not just advertise to everybody. I'm not on TikTok either. So. Oh, it doesn't matter. Now you give me your email. I don't know. I haven't figured out how you get on to either TikTok or Instagram. You know? Yeah, well, they're, just, they're just apps you download. Instagram yeah. is owned by um, Facebook. Facebook. So Facebook. So, right. It was started by a different it's company, but Facebook it's... ended up buying them. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I had a Facebook account at one time and I closed it down. And the last time I tried to sign up for Facebook again, it said, uh, there's a previous account on here for you. And I had to send them my driver's license and all this other BS oh about God. to verify my identity. And I oh, said, forget bro. it. Yeah. yeah. I see I see your email now. Yeah. I didn't check the emails. <laughs> well, we, we were doing something for a couple of friends here and there uh, of adding them to our accounts like uh what netflix and uh, uh hulu and uh disney and so on and um uh they finally caught me yeah they're they're cracking down they finally caught me so i had to cancel all the other people it was hulu hulu yeah. hulu hulu caught me yeah so i figured yeah. everybody else was going to catch me too so i well it was hulu I figured that sooner and later they would get me for Patrick, who was on with Disney. Yeah. Okay. So I had to get rid of him too. So I felt bad about that because I really enjoyed giving people the luxury of being able to hop onto my account. And God I'm knows I pay account. enough. I mean, Hulu, I pay $100 a month to. What? Why? Because <laughs> I have, I oh, have, he has everything. No, we have the, what do you call it? The service where you oh, get oh, oh, the it's channels like and the local so channels. Yeah, right, Hulu right. TV. Yeah, seventy-five for me on YouTube TV. That's not too bad. Yeah, but I what I get is I also get uh, Disney and mm -hmm. uh, 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 what do you call it? ESPN. Okay. Plus, so you know, <laughs> all for that price. So. Well, I know ESPN. you're such a you're such a sports guy that you. I know. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, well, he has a sports yeah. Emmy. The only yeah, reason right. I have it is from all the only I've reason I have it. it actually, is... I touched it. <laughs> no, the reason I have it is for Marjorie. Because oh, yeah. you know, for her tennis. 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 For her what? Your the tennis. 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 Yeah. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, so I watch all four majors. Yeah. Nice. If they don't put on Doctor Who within another hour or so, I'm gonna I'm stop gonna subscribing scream. to Hulu. What? <laughs> I wonder if yeah. it's up now. I wonder if it is up. Uh, that's I what can check. <laughs> you, yeah, go over to Disney Plus. Let's have her check. It might not be till six o'clock. You know, well, no, I'm figuring. Office. I'm figuring it's it goes on at seven o'clock in England. Disney Plus is what under the oh Disney. Well, that'd be like you just, you just push a button. You have a button there for Disney Plus. <laughs> All right, I'm there now. Seven where do I go? Is, is, is just uh, swipe across just to see what the various shows are. The second one should be Doctor Who. Okay, hold on. This is riveting, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, this is Christmas. What do you expect? Doctor right. Who. Yeah. It's on. It's oh, okay. On. Turn, turn it off. I don't want you to watch it <laughs> now. <laughs> That's our show tonight. Yeah. Good. That's good timing for me. <laughs> what? That's a good what? Good timing for me. Eagles oh. game is going to be on at 1.30. Yeah. And now... I got Charlie there, and so by fourth grade, by fourth grade, you'll be I need a good first quarter at least. 
<laughs> we already roast each other going back and forth with text all during the games. This is, yeah. this is even worse. <laughs> it was live. <laughs> God, look what I'm missing with not being a sports fan. Mm. Right? Yeah. Missing nothing. No. No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What did I ever get out of sports? Emmy. <laughs> you refused to go to the tennis tournament. Wow. I didn't refuse. <laughs> How much was the tennis tournament? How much does it cost for a ticket? It's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So you why don't go we, every day. You why should day. why should I spend money for a sport I don't even understand? <laughs> God knows I've watched it a lot with you and I still don't. Tennis is easy. You just need to get the ball over the over the thingy. Yeah. yeah. Get it over the net. Tennis and is just the the line. standing on the table. Yeah, but I don't know how it's scored. You gotta know how it's scored, otherwise you, you can't tell in who's the old winning. days they they wouldn't say zero, they would say love. Love. Yeah. Yeah. Fifteen love, thirty yeah. love. They don't do that anymore? No. Really? Ooh. Oh. It's been a while. Hmm. Where have you been? Huh. Not watching tennis. I, yeah, not watching <laughs> I thought the British liked to do nil. Mm -hmm. uh, when uh -huh. I was growing up, it would always love. It was love. Love, yeah. Oh. In soccer, <clears throat> they like to say nil. If they yeah. score, if the other team scores, it's one to nil. Yeah. One nil. Wow. Well, okay. <laughs> and if you don't have any or, sport, it's Zed. Or as they yeah. call it, football. They call it football. Yeah. Oh, well, it, it is football. For them, it's football. What we have is what they call American right. football. Right. And all we do is do stuff with our hands. So I don't What I don't understand. What is, really a, yeah. what is Australian <laughs> rules football? Uh, oh, like, that rugby. Like rugby. Yeah, it's like yeah. rugby. No, 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 there's rugby too. There's American rules. Or yeah. Australian rules football. There was a thing oh, in 60 that's, minutes. That's okay. The, the top Aussie, player is an American guy. What's Aussie rules football? Ooh, soccer? It's, it's, no, it's a it's no, similar it's to football, but very different. I, I watched on 60 Minutes. They interviewed this American guy. Yeah. Who's like the head, the top guy in their sport as an import from the U.S. He's like 6'8". Yeah. He's this giant guy. 6'8"? <laughs> yeah. Six, eight? Hey, yeah. My dream. <laughs> Yeah, but I so, so I don't understand all those things at all, and uh, so if I went to spend like two hundred dollars to go to ten, how much is that, how much does it cost to go to a tennis match? Now? A lot. Well, that a lot is morning. not a number. Well, this is it. We go at ten in the morning when they open, and like you can't go in this many. <laughs> yeah. So how much did that cost? We made a day out of it. Yeah. How much did it cost? I don't remember. See. A lot. A lot, a lot. When you spend a lot of money, you usually remember what that lot is. I don't remember the exact price. Was it over two hundred dollars? Of course. What do you mean, of course? <laughs> Anything you is over two hundred dollars. Night, Alex. What? You can't. Eat food. 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 Is it bigger than a bread box? What did you say, yeah. Charlie? So it's like going to the playoffs. And playoffs oh. cost a lot more than regular games. Exactly. Well, warrior, I'm trying to get warrior Thank tickets Charlie. and to get he has no to, idea. Yeah, to get in the in the not the up up, but just the normal seats for Warriors games are four or five hundred dollars per seat. Easily. Easily. Wow. A regular season? Yeah, for regular season. I'm trying to get from Mavericks coming how up. Can, and it's how, like crazy. how can you follow a sport? Oops, I got my mic in the way there. So uh, how can you how can you do a sport or follow a sport? It doesn't love you enough to charge just 10 bucks. Do you know, Alex, there's a player they just signed for $700 million yeah, for 10 years? 10 years. Yes. Yeah, I saw and that. then they just followed that up by another guy. So they're paying like over a billion dollars for the next 10. Well, they're not paying it in the next 10 years, but they worked that out. But that's yeah. their contracts. Yeah. yeah. By the way, you know, in the past, I, I said how much I really loved uh, the, the judge who was uh, in the. Uh, in the Trump trial, uh -oh. mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, I've just, I just now Trump and I have something in common. We both hate <laughs> the same judge. <laughs> <laughs> but what did he do to you this time? Oh, he went with this other guy. <clears throat> really? Because he was a basketball player. Now the basketball player. So they don't, say, don't say the name. Yeah. 
I mean, this guy's been ripping us off for the since ever since we moved in here, constantly ripping us off. And uh, I, I, it's almost like the judge is aiding and abetting him. Oh, they are. They are. Is the, yeah. Is this the lessee that you all got yeah. the apartment yeah. through? Yeah. 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 Um, and he okay. wasn't even a great football star. He played I mean, one year and then show you how, how bad later. how bad my representation is. Our lawyer didn't even show up. Oh, what the hell? He sent some of associate of his. And we um, lost the case. We so lost the case. Or we might have wanted oh. to be it gone. Oh, my God. Now, I'd like to go at, at yell at and scream at him, but he still has one other case against the landlords he's got to handle, and I don't want him getting loosey-goosey on that one. Yeah. No. So. Never ends. It never ends. Uh, really. You know, I would like to, for one time in my life to be settled in this apartment and feel that it's you've mine. been fighting this for 10 I can't years i believe right? it's going on this long yeah it keeps it keeps going on because well mainly because the thing was solved by the judge making the decision he made which is that he rolled back the rent to the way it was in 19 uh 20 uh, 19 uh, <laughs> 19 uh 1920 uh, 19 90. 93 93 uh, 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 103 yeah so anyway um she so rolled it back to that but the and they the uh landlords went along with it on a lease and that was fine and we had that for two years and then it came for the renewal of the lease which has to be based on the lease what you're paying and on the amounts in the lease and they tried to up it two thousand dollars twenty five hundred yeah no not twenty five hundred no but I mean, so I mean, it, you know, it never stops. Oh, hi there. Hi. Barbara says hi. Hi. Merry Christmas. Hi. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. So anyway, that's that, that that was our Christmas present. I owe this guy forty two hundred bucks. So <laughs> well, that seems about right. And my my lawyer feeling guilty decided that well, we we're gonna uh, appeal this. And I'm thinking, yeah, let me see, how much is it gonna cost me to appeal it? <laughs> How much do I owe? I think I better yeah. just pay the money and forget it and then have him sue the landlord for the deposit. For our deposit. For our right. uh, security deposit. Because the money we didn't pay him was the security deposit he owed us. And we felt it was it was fair to do that, you know. Uh, and it was a convenience to him to not have to go through the whole Michigan, yeah. you know. Yeah. And uh, no, we have to pay the 4200 Okay, so we'll go into court and sue this guy for not giving us our security deposit forty two hundred dollars, but we're going to double it because there's double uh, uh, yeah yeah whatever double for the damages. Damages. yeah double what Alex it's it's it, uh, in other words it's it will come out to eighty four hundred because yeah. it's doubled it's if he, didn't do it with, if he didn't do it within uh, fourteen yeah. days. Oh. Instead of the day that we got the results from the all right, let's do it. Judge, that that's <laughs> the day the that fuck out of him. yeah. So, so I mean, I want to. I'm, I'm going to say, don't, don't, don't do the, uh, don't do the uh, appeal. I said, forget let's that. Just for go a... after, just go after him. Yeah, yeah. We'll pay him the forty two hundred, and I'm gonna go after him. Somebody did suggest, and it was uh, it was Kevin the other night when I had this call with Kevin and Patrick and. Uh, 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 my Josh, uh, the, he, that I go to like channel four here in New York for one of these people's like, you know, so channel four on your side or whatever it's called yeah, and tell them that I have not gotten my, uh, uh money security or security deposit back from my landlord. Uh, but here, my landlord was once a basketball player for the new york knicks and i happen to be a well-known radio broadcaster in new york city but no one's paying attention to me it, yeah but you know and and let and see if they'll go do it you know you know because it's a good story you know you got some people who are known here and you got some money involved and, blah, 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 and you know and so we went off for alex bennett to see if we could get him his security deposit and we got it you know. Just wear a gap net shirt. Make sure you have a gap net shirt. Oh, on. Yeah, that'll carry weight. <laughs> <laughs> Get some more colors. You never know. I could propel us to the top. 
Yeah, yeah this is we're Joe Rogan, top, watch out. Here we come. The top now, you know. <laughs> but um, uh, no, but I figure that that's one. I, it's not a bad idea, you know. Yeah, if you were in San Francisco, you know, you have people in TV still, don't you? Friends? Well, yeah, TV. but they can't help me there. Yeah, I know. New York, no, but I mean, to get on that TV, team, to get on that their show, because they, they have one over here, too. They all have those, you know. Yeah, well, I'm I'm just thinking that I, I'll write them and say, here's the problem, here's what happened, blah, 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 blah. And uh, I am a, a well-known former New Yorker. I was a well-known man. former. That was a big shot. I wouldn't mention the New York Knicks, Knicks though, because, you know, a lot of sports people are, are crazy about their Knicks, and they may not care who you are. That's right. Well, no, uh, he. Uh, well, wait a minute. That's part of the story, though. This I know, but people love their sports, Alex. If you say they're they're from the Knicks, then they're going to sign them. Listen, this guy was so long ago. They probably go who? <laughs> okay, yeah. so say a guy who couldn't even make the Knicks. Because this judge was he impressed by the fact year, that he was a basketball play player in Italy. The, he the, he was a basketball player for the Knicks. He was one year, player. Alex. No. No? Three years, and then he went to play for and then Italy. one year with one year with the Nets, and then he went to Spain, Italy, Italy, yeah. Uh, but uh, anyway, and he became like in charge of the uh, basketball players association. Uh, well, that was his retired, wife. Retired? No, retired. Was that his wife who did the retired? Yeah, the company. Oh. Anyway, so uh, you know. Anyway, the ju judge was impressed by the fact of who he was. And my point was, probably I was better known in New York than he was. <laughs> Easily. You know. And But the judge didn't know you, Alex. Well, because he never listened to the radio show. But I was on That's for 12 right. years in this town, longer than he lasted as being a, a Nick player or a Net player. You know? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And I, I, if I mention his name here, probably, even though these people are into sports, none of them know who the hell he was. You know, Santa Creep entered the waiting room. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, that, that's, no, that's, that's, Kevin. Kevin. that's Kevin. That's Kevin. That is Kevin. Remember, he had that on. Yeah, that's Kevin. Last week, oh, yeah. okay. Okay. He forgot to change his thing, unless he's going to challenge Edward Burger to a Santa off. <laughs> Let me see here. Get ready to there he is. Oh, oh, Santa, Santa's a 49er fan. Oh my God, that's terrible. <laughs> hey, now we got. Now two, we know rigged. We have two Santas here. Isn't that's that right. It, by the way, uh, Edward Berger's uh, beard. Uh, you're a professional Santa. You have been a professional Santa, right, Kevin? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, uh, how would you rate Edward Berger's beard on a rating of <laughs> one to ten? Minus nine. Uh, <laughs> that's wrong. That's right. <laughs> Isn't that getting itchy about now? It, it is. Yeah, itchy. Little, but yeah, don't worry. Things... I, I won't make it through till five o'clock. You don't those have to. Are... There's no it's stuff. Terribly there. itchy. Well, on top of it, you're a Jew. <laughs> I know it. Edward, you can pull it down so far. Yeah, no, I, all right, I'll get. He's, he's, he's doing a diversity do. oh, I had no idea we. that was Ed. Tina Turner. Oh, he's got the wig, <laughs> too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or Cousin Ed. No, that's, uh, what's her name? What's that What's that uh, rock star? C, C? Is it C yeah. or? C? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she yeah, wears okay. the hair in front of her face. That. Yeah. Oh, I'm feeling yeah, yeah, terrible because yeah. I didn't realize that. Yeah, was let me ever. ask him now. How do you feel without the beard? Better. <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna go. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Mm. He had That's me funny. fooled. I thought that was Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> He's here. He's downstairs at the bar. I don't think I've ever seen you without your hat on, Edward. Yours oh is... yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get my hat. Boy, that's a big kitchen you got there. Oh, that's my no, this is my living. Well, I'm kitchen. talking, I'm talking about oh, Brian. Oh, it's uh, Brian, yeah, that's giant. That's a really yeah. nice kitchen. It's a wide angle lens, it looks smaller, yeah. it's bigger than it is. Yeah. <laughs> well, ours is huge. It's actually a kitchenette. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know they made kitchens that big in trailers. Yeah. <laughs> Watch in a few minutes, it's going to start shaking and rolling around. Oh, <laughs> That's yeah. actually the auxiliary kitchen. 
Yeah, yeah the, the chef's pantry. <laughs> Let's see here. <laughs> what have we got there? Oh, oh great. He's oh, going to load up on oh, Tony. Yeah, He's going to load up on Tony. You. Yeah. I have a lot of games to watch. I need to be awake. <laughs> okay, Tony. I some espresso martinis. <laughs> Don't mention Tony. I, I often <laughs> thought that they rank uh, the big games on New Year's Day. That's what I thought. Uh, that's, that's all college. 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 Oh, that's college. Okay. Yeah. So the Rose Bowl is college game. Yeah. 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 Okay. Excuse me. I'm itching. Um uh, so <laughs> and this is the first time I've done the show stoned. <laughs> well, not really stoned. I took a puff off the vape like about two hours ago. He's two and such a, half a hours baby. Ago. Wait, Melanie. What? So anyway, uh, so I, I, use, I, 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 I use this. He's one. a baby. Use, Don't even listen. So to I did him. the vape, and then I forgot that I was doing a show today. <laughs> Lightweight. So, so quickly we forget. I'm not really stoned anymore, but you know. He wants to complain. Yeah. My college, my college team is playing on Wednesday night in the Direct TV Holiday Bowl. Mm. Uh, Mine's in the Direct TV Bowl. Holiday Bowl. What school? Uh, what school USC was that? Louisville versus USC. Now, was it ever another bowl? Go Louisville. Decide that, or and they bought the rights to it, or what? That's I think I think it what used to be just called the Holiday Bowl, and now it's the Direct TV Holiday Bowl because they yeah because they you know, sponsor it yeah they yeah they sponsor it. Does, does anyone know if Penn State got into any bowls? Yeah, they should have. I don't think they have any bowls. <laughs> I get it. Our, 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 our. There's a joke there somewhere. Humor, <laughs> they put. They had a good season. They did. What? Let's look. Well, my team. They per uh, practically Texas give a ball to everybody nowadays. Yeah. What? What do you say, Charlie? So my Texas Longhorns are in the playoffs. Well, where's Penn State? Will somebody tell me? It's in Pennsylvania. I'll tell you right in now. Pennsylvania. Yeah. Who are they playing? <laughs> where they is them. where? Where is the Perv State Bowl? Penn State. Oh, oh sorry. Kevin, oh, when's the Fiesta Bowl? What's the that? What? When, when is the Fiesta Bowl? When, what the day Fiesta is The Fiesta Bowl is um, uh, New Year's Phoenix. Day in Arizona. Yeah, New Year's Day. I'm going to that one. I'll watch it. I'm going to that one. It's Where is it again? Asleep. The Fiesta it's Bowl? It's in, uh, in Phoenix what? at State Glendale, Farm. Arizona. Glendale's yeah. State Farm Stadium. State Farm Stadium. I love the naming rights on these things. Yeah. You know? Does Penn State mm. settle for Fiesta Bowl? Fiesta no. Bowl sounds yeah. like something you get at Taco Bell. Yeah. Peach Bowl. Yeah. Penn State is going to. What do you have? Well, we Peach have Bowl. a Fiesta Bowl. Would you like the Fiesta Bowl? <laughs> Penn oh, State is going where? Peach Bowl. Peach Bowl. That's, that's in that's in the Georgia or someplace. Isn't it? In the Peach Bowl, the Big Cotton 10, 30, Bowl, 10, 10, 10. Orange Bowl. What what day is the Peach Bowl? How many bowls are there in this country? There's Lots. about thirty. There's about thirty Lots. of the damn things. Yeah. yeah. When, 30, when is 32, Penn State? I think. What day is the Peach Bowl? That's what I'm looking for here. It says Peach Bowl's in Georgia somewhere. Yeah. What date? What date? Beach ball couldn't be anywhere else but Georgia. They're all this week, and uh, they yeah. they end on uh, the second, I think, of January. It uh, says Penn State will play Ole Miss December thirtieth. Oh, is it? Yeah. December thirtieth, nine a.m. Yeah. Pacific. So it must be noon your time. Okay, yeah. I'll watch it. Of course you will, <clears throat> but not in the bedroom. You have to watch it in Jeez, the It room. says it's officially sold out too, and they're trying to wow. give away tickets to our game. I'm wait. I haven't even bought wow. tickets yet, and I've got all my plane of stuff and everything ben ready State's to go. Well, I would out. get a ticket if I were you. No, yeah, I'm not. I'm going to get. Season. Of course, they're going to be sold out. We had a great season, but they're not selling out. Well, Penn State is better. <laughs> we're playing the Liberty Bowl against. Are uh, playing Liberty jo Jerry Falwell School. Oh, no. A kidding. totally liberal school against a totally religious school. My daughter <laughs> plays in the band at Oregon, right? Yeah. And she says that, uh, you know, she goes, she says, uh, yeah, we're playing against a team that that uh, you get fined if you're gay. 
Oh, at school, thousand dollar fine if you're gay. Oh, God. She goes, and they're playing against us. We're gonna waste them. <laughs> That'd be some good trash talking. That'd be oh, great. Yeah. Trash talking here. Oh yeah. Well, are you insinuating <laughs> that gays aren't good at sports? <laughs> no, it's just the fact that it's a Jerry Falwell school, and they have those yeah. kind of rules. And Oregon is very liberal, and they're gonna kick their ass. <laughs> basically yeah. that's what she says what are, you, what are you what are you doing marjorie you're moving your hand like crazy i'm sorry i just got to notice that i have to give them a code when they bring the food uh, <laughs> give them a code what's a code tell everybody here what the code is uh, <laughs> it's the chick-fil-a who's, who's bringing you food figure it out who's bringing you food what? Chinese. Oh, Chinese. It's, <laughs> oh, it's Christmas. Jews have to eat Chinese food on Christmas. It's so is, it, is it DoorDash? I could have brought it for you. Yeah, yeah that, that, that was it's that was the only thing. Uber eats. Oh, that was okay. the only thing I didn't plan out when I kicked everybody out for Christmas. Was how am I going to eat? <laughs> I do DoorDash. I can drive up there and get. It Are you not capable? Oh, yeah. Are you not capable of, of rib, cooking? Brian. Don't come over here. Right, <laughs> Bob. Are you not capable of cooking your own meals? I'm too busy watching the game. It's starting right now. It's going to be nonstop. Dude, oh, okay. my daughter had a, a a craving last night for uh, vanilla ice cream and a mango. And, I, you know, I crack up because I do DoorDash, too. I took her job when she went to college. And she, mm. she ordered a little thing of Ben & Jerry's vanilla ice cream because she found an orange soda in the fridge. Mm. I want a cream soda float. Musical. 10 wow. o'clock last night she ordered this stuff and i go you used to doordash and now you're ordering doordash she goes yeah i just have a craving i said okay okay i showed up at 10 15 with a little thing a thing and i go you're like one of those i said i delivered a bag of flaming cheetos to some kid out here in the boondocks <laughs> uh, for uh, 8 50 yeah, really? <laughs> did you get a tip hell no Hell no. Excuse me. The game's going to start. Can we do a quick prayer? I like doing a prayer before the game. <laughs> what, what game? Okay, uh, I I think uh, you should lead us in prayer and yeah. and 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 the forty niners win. What is and I I'm going to take off too. I gotta I gotta get to my friend's house so. You guys have a wonderful rest of your day. It was great to talk to you. Uh, go Niners. Sorry, Charlie, and sorry for you. Why? What that doesn't matter to me now. I'm with you, Lynn. No, 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 no the, the Cowboys lost yesterday. <laughs> yeah, Cowboys are just giving it up. I know. They've given up. Well, it's good to talk to you guys. Okay, we're I'm losing here. Lynn. All right, goodbye, Lynn. Thank Bye, you. Lynn. Yeah, no. Merry Christmas. Hey, yeah, we haven't had a lot of people here today, but uh, not as uh, many. Brian was leaving, too. What? Well, Brian was leaving too. He said the game's about to start. No, you just got me at uh, 0.5. That's all. What? When? You got me at 0. 0.5. 50%. Yeah, he, he can watch. I, I can have the game on in the background here while I. Uh... Yeah, I'm watching the game. But there's nothing to watch on that game. Anymore. Well, no, when something happens, <laughs> when something happens, we can see his. See, there he goes. He's all, he goes? He's all butt hurt now. <laughs> And, he heard and, that, and he can't. You'll, give, you'll know he, if the Giants score because I'm going blank on this. He, he can't give me crap when I'm when I'm watching my game, so I'm going to sit here and give him crap while he's watching his. Wow, yeah. right, Brian? All, why did you guys all get like a Zoom and and uh, and just talk to each other during the games? It's so not we like text, we don't. So we have we a group chat. Other, it's like we don't. Facebook. Yeah. We have a group chat between like three or four of us, and then we have Tony chiming in, who's not even one of these fans. And then no, he storms, he he storms us. Yeah. <laughs> like, one play, and you look down at your phone, there's like 10 messages from him. I made Tony a, a, a friend on Facebook. By the way, friend on Facebook, that term really cheapens the term friend. Yeah. You know, just yeah. like just like calling somebody a genius cheap cheap uh, cheapens uh the word genius when applied to say albert einstein so um uh i made tony a friend because he wanted to be a friend and something must have happened there yeah 
Tony, uh, what was it? Uh, so uh, I um, had had a friend, <laughs> friend, and uh, I, I friended him, and then he started sending me messages every minute. And the problem is, my watch that I have goes off when somebody goes to Facebook, you know, and leaves me a message. So now my wrist is going boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Finally, I had to dump him. I had to just you know that you know that Tony is the only one, you know, the little bell that goes off. Tony is the only one that can make the bell sound like an alarm clock. <laughs> yeah. I told you we were we were driving. I picked up Adrian, we we're driving home, and it kept bing bing. And she kept looking at the phone and she goes, You know, somebody's texting you. And I said, Yeah, I know. She goes, but it's Tony. Maybe it's important. I said, no, it's not. <laughs> and, and, never important. It's like never I important. said earlier, I do DoorDash. And, you know, you get your instructions on the phone when you're driving. And mm -hmm. every time I start getting my instructions, all of a sudden, Tony is, I did this. What is that? What is that? I'm cooking this. I'm cooking that. I'm doing yeah. cookies. I did cookies 25 years ago. I did this 25 years ago. Charlie, you need to do this. Uh. Charlie, you need to do that. And it's like. I'm trying to figure out where the hell I'm going, Tony. Shut up. So I have to block him for an hour. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah, you just, what you have to do is just threaten to not make him a friend any longer. And he, he's been pretty respectful to well, me. He's, he's not bad. He just does it. He goes on a rampage for a while and then he goes of, away. Of, you know, like <laughs> uh, the, the cartoon character, Scooby-Doo. He was sending me Scooby-Doo pictures. <laughs> what can I possibly do with a Scooby-Doo picture? Tony's snack. Tony. He's good. Oh. Have a Scooby snack. Wait a minute. Everything stopped with the game. What happened? Nothing. There's just zero zero. It's nothing. Oh, I like commercial. <laughs> <laughs> We're not, not far from a touchdown. Like two plays later. Oh, now they're going to do the tush push. And they just tried it and they, 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 they called uh, New York, I think, on offsides. Oh, sorry. I can't say that. But you can kind of describe it. You can describe it. You just can't. no any 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 description of the game has to be okayed by the commissioner of bait. Oh, right. Let's yeah. let's let's do and some you, play by play and, and, and see who, if they who, catch who, us. Who is that? Peter Uberoth now still? Oh hell no, he's long gone. Oh no, he's long gone. Who who's the head of football? I don't even know. Who's uh, who? What's his name? The commission uh, looks like Brian Neary. Well, if I need to get permission, who am I going to write to? <laughs> let's just do some play by play for about ten minutes and see if they catch us. <laughs> That's what I say. Yeah, that's a good idea. Looks like somebody scored. Yeah. Yeah, they did the tush push. Really? Really? Yeah, they always I can't I don't understand that. Like 99% of the, I think they've been stopped like once and ever since they've been trying to do uh, it. I, that's yeah. funny. I, I scored a lot of times in my life and nobody ever made a big deal out of it. But <laughs> did, did you, you do the tush, tush push? Did you, did you push, push the tush? tush? <laughs> <laughs> One time that used to be illegal out here. What? <laughs> Tush push. A tush push? Well, if it's an unwanted tush push. It's all oh, a matter yeah. of how you, how you push the tush. So anyway, Marjorie, did the Chinese food get here? Yes. Woo, man. That, yeah, they, they work uh, it pretty good. Alex has got to go now. No, I, <laughs> no, I'm here for the next 15 minutes. Come on. It's going to get cold. Look, the food's not going to get cold. It'll That's be why fine. We invented... have a microwave. That's going to say, that's why they yeah. invented microwave. Well, we have kind of a microwave. You have to slam it shut to make it work. Oh, boy. Yeah. Well, it needs a new one. We need a new one. We also have to get a, what was it, a new dishwasher. Oh, that's wow. the one we've got. Edward, put on your beard and ask him what he wants for Christmas. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah, well, I wanted to go out and get her a dishwasher a couple of weeks ago, and she didn't want to go, ah, oh, it's too far. Wait till <laughs> after Christmas. Yeah, get her a dishwasher for Christmas. That'd be a great hit. Oh, yeah, that would be wonderful. <laughs> yeah. For a new microwave. It's like guess, here guess what I got you for pot. Christmas, dear? A brand Why new vacuum cleaner. You know what? <laughs> My wife has told me to do that, and I said, <laughs> hell no. You'll throw that at me for 10 years. I yeah. threw it at them, get, and we had get to me a mic. Get me a vacuum cleaner. So, no. Hell no. <laughs> well, well, that's, that's, a, a that's a trap. That's a setup, yeah. Yep. I, I got you. What what I get you, you one? You got year? me a fucking pot. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you liked pot. 
<laughs> she loves pot, but not the ones I buy. I, I, buy. Bought you, I bought you a pot because when I first knew you, you were, what can I say when people say, what is she really into? And I'd say cooking. She loves to cook, you know, and you did, you know. I did. And, and so I figured what would be better? I'll buy her a pot. That'll be, uh, you this know. This is from be, one that knows nothing about cooking or uh, about cooking. Tools. What do you mean knows nothing about cooking? I can cook. Yeah. Ribs. Just leave me and <laughs> I will be eating wonderfully every day. Okay. okay. I, I probably make a lot of my own food, too. You don't well, cook. you haven't. She doesn't cook anymore. What good are you as a wife? I stopped <laughs> cooking. Jeez. I retired from cooking. A wife who doesn't cook. Is that horrible or what? <laughs> to say out loud, you mean? Huh? <laughs> Depends on what other quality she has. Well, by the way, you know, it is, the sun has gone down, Marjorie, and you're going closer to being in the dark. Why don't you well, hold on a second? No, don't do that. I will see if it works from here. Well, of course it'll work from here. Echo, turn on bedroom. Echo, turn on bedroom. There it goes. Magic. Ta -da. Ta -da. Ta -da. See? See? Ta -da. I thought you were going to say turn on in the bedroom. Oh, for instance, we, we, every year, we've, we've <laughs> that's been a different doing, switch. Every it starts year, vibrating. We've been, doing, uh, we've been doing a Thanksgiving meal. <laughs> and this year, it was just really rough on her back and everything like that. And finally, she said she's never going to do another Thanksgiving dinner. Ever, you know? ever. So, if any of you would like to invite us over, <laughs> bye bye. Huh? I always have a big Thanksgiving. You're welcome. You always have a good Thanksgiving. Always have a big one. Yeah, come. Yeah, okay. But you have to go to Amish, Cleveland. Yeah, Amish <laughs> bird. You well, have I've been, I've been, I'll email you some. I've been to Cleveland before. It's a nice enough city, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. We're Cleveland. Yeah, I mean, it's had it had rough times. There was a downtown area. What was it called? And it really fell on rough times. The flats. Yeah, the flats. It's That's where I went. It's yeah. bad. And it's come back, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, Cleveland's a pretty good, uh, pretty good city. Plus, I watched every episode of Hot in Cleveland. <laughs> oh yeah, because they filmed that here. Cleveland rocks. Hmm. What'd you say? Rock Hall. Cleveland rocks. Yeah, Ian Hunter. But it was a, it was a, uh, it was a. I like that show. That was a great show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I caught it in reruns and on line and hot in Cleveland. I thought I never thought to watch it because it was a sitcom being done for what the comedy. Uh, what was it? What channel was that on? It was one of the weird ones. Yeah, it was one uh, like Nick at Night or something. Yeah, like something that. like that. Yeah. Yeah, and I thought it was just wonderful. I thought the women were wonderful on it. The storyline was great. And it was funny. I laughed a lot, you know. And Marjorie wouldn't watch it because she's a snob. <laughs> She's jealous of Betty White. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she won't write, watch stuff. She won't watch stuff based on its name. Okay. I mean, uh, if, about if, anything, if, if it were White's to come on today, she would say The Sopranos. What's that? I just started rewatching that for the I, first time in 15 years. I watched the first it was episode. Great. It was terrific. Yeah, it, it, still, it still is very good, you know. But somehow, I don't know, those sitcoms which you really like, you know, the Sopranos and things like that. Sopranos is a sitcom. sitcom. Yeah, I would call Sopranos well, a sitcom. Well, a, a series, okay? You go back to them, and they don't play as well as they did when they first were on and they were fresh. That know? was 50 years ago, Alex. Wasn't 50 years ago for the Sopranos. 40. 20. Uh, I watch the Star Trek series over and over again. That's great every time. It's kind of what we call an evergreen. Once you get past the first three years, because that was pretty cheaply done, at least by today's standards. But when they got to uh, the uh, the next series, which was Next Generation, they spent a lot of money on that stuff. You know, and there were good shows, good storylines. You know, and the best of all the series, which a lot of people don't really go back to, is uh, Star Trek: Deep Space Nine. Yeah, which is wouldn't you agree it was the best of all the, all the series they did? Well, it's second best for me, but it's it's pretty good. 
hey, you know, we're boring them right now, like you were boring me with <laughs> the football. Yeah. So I'm getting even. Anybody know what we're talking about when we say Deep Space Nine? No. Spock. I see. Vernon knows. No, yeah. not there wasn't Spock. No, there was no Spock on Deep Space there was, Nine. There was no Spock on that. You know. I own I own all the episodes of the original Star Trek. Oh, Me really? too. You know what they said? But it, of course, you don't have to anymore because you can always go online and just watch them. Yeah. But the thing is, Plus has them. Yeah. yeah uh, that that uh, that I always liked about Deep Deep Space Nine is they described when they pitched uh, Star Trek as wagon train, which was a show on at the time, to the stars. Okay, that was a cheap way of trying to sell it to the network. And they were, oh, dragons to train to the stars. That we can understand. All right. So then when they did Deep Space Nine, you know what it turned out to be? That was gun smoke in the stars. Yeah. It's like a Dodge City, you know. Uh, and I thought it was I thought it was just terrific. I thought it was very That's Shakespearean true. and very well written and a great series. Isn't yeah. that the was one where it? Yoda gets Chewbacca pregnant? Yeah. <laughs> right. No, it's a deep uh, uh, Star Trek Deep Space Nine. It's just a great show. It's a great show. Mm. Mm. I like Star Trek Voyager too. Me too. That's my favorite Voyager. Voyager? Yeah. Yeah, because the captain's a female. Yeah. Yep. I interviewed and her. For that show. Seven of I, I, I did a TV show and I interviewed her on it. Oh, yeah. She had been Mrs. Columbo, was what she had been before. Yeah. She was on that show. But man, um, you know, to get seven years worth of work, which is what you got at that time for each yeah. series like that. I mean, she's probably still getting residual checks to this. Oh, yeah. uh, that was the job. Whoopi Goldberg did a character on uh, Star Trek Next Generation. Yep. Why is she doing it? I say, because this is a perennial, this show. This is yep. going to play forever, and she's going to keep getting money forever for doing it. Yep. Yeah. You know, she wanted to do it because she likes Star Trek, but I imagine the, the best reason for doing it is all the money you're going to make over the years, you know? I mean, they make more money on the residuals than they made doing the original series. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and, uh, well, Whoopi Goldberg made money off of playing me. Uh, I, I was doing a show called Comedy Tonight on PBS. And I did five seasons, and after the fifth season, they let me go because they brought in Whoopi Goldberg to host it. So I kept referring to her as the new Alex Bennett. Yeah. So, but uh, i show you how insecure the business is. Uh, yeah. uh, I, I knew Whoopi in San Francisco, and she, you know, she'd done my show maybe once. I don't even know if she did my show. I just knew her. And... Um, I, saw, I went to uh, Bob Goldthwaite had a, a wedding and he had a, uh, a, a party afterwards and uh, there was Whoopi. And I said, Whoopi, hi, I haven't seen you in a while. She said, yeah, I've been down there working in Hollywood. I said, well, you ought to come up and be on my show. And she said, well, I will. She says, if I still have a career. And I'm going, you're Whoopi Goldberg. You're making 8,000 movies. You're on TV shows. You're everything. You're this, you're that. She was very, very big at the time. And you're insecure. I said, what a business. You yeah. Know? And and the same thing, Patrick Stewart. I yeah. interviewed him. And after I interviewed him, I said, next time you're in New York, come on back. He says, well, if I still have a career. He said the same thing, essentially. He said, uh, you know, I, I just quit this show. I don't know if I'll have another a career after this. They don't know whether they have a career or not. Now, of course, Patrick Stewart, how much money has he made off of Star Trek Next Generation? Yeah. Because your residuals are somewhat based on the money you originally made on the series. So if you made it, let's say you made 500000 an episode. Let's just say that. Well, maybe you're not going to get that in residuals now, but it's going to be higher than the guy who played a lower role and got less money on the show. So, I mean, he's he's lived off of that for the rest of his life. So I'm here. If you want me on a series, uh, I'll be happy to do it. 
And I won't, because I, well, I don't know. Making money for the rest of my life isn't exactly asking for a lot. Okay. <laughs> Alex. <laughs> yeah. You're not going to lose money by paying me for the rest of my life. Like I'm married to Marjorie for the rest of my life. It's no investment. <laughs> you know, it's no investment at all. It is what it is. Yeah. Look at all the benefit. Yeah. I mean, I, I married her for better, for worse. In sickness Last and, health, chapter. and whatever and oh. uh, you know I'll, i'm married to you for the rest of my life and uh, at too. that time i, I figured it wasn't going to be more than a couple of years but already it's been 13 <laughs> years <laughs> so, I, 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 like, I like to say there's no god but i think there is and he's trying to get even with me because here we are right marjorie i would totally agree with you yeah see they have a it Disney. It they have some Disney thingy last night, I think, or this morning. Tim Tebow, who is a football guy, but Tim Tebow was there, and he's talking about uh, back in 2000 when we had C3PO and all this stuff. They're, they're talking about something, and they had all these kids that were with them. These kids must have been like 17, 16 years old, and I'm like, these kids probably don't even know who R2D2 is and C3PO yeah. and all these. I'm like, they're just looking and they're like, I'm like, these guys uh, don't even know who these people are. I'm like, oh my God. Well, you want to you hear the really disgusting one? I decided I had a test for any date I went out with that if she couldn't name all the Beatles, I wouldn't go out with her. <laughs> she'd, be too, dead, she'd, Alex. she'd be too young, right? Yeah. There's, but and there's the dung I, I, or... Well, I didn't go out on many dates when I made my mind up on that one. <laughs> Because you get any kid today and you say, name the Beatles, if they don't say who, okay, the next thing is going to be, they'll name them all except they miss George. Huey Lewis and the News was huge in this area. And, and oh, they were huge everywhere. Huge. Yeah. And, okay. But in San Francisco Giants, they always did the National Anthem, all this stuff, right? And I was talking to this girl at work and she's like, she's like 34, and I'm a little bit older, but she's 34. And I meant, I said, oh, this show they called The Generation, and they brought off Huey Lewis, and they didn't even know who he was. And she's all, who? And I'm like, oh, my <laughs> God, never mind. Yeah, I mean, it, it's true, though. They don't remember. I mean, um, Huey Lewis and the News were big. I mean, they were big. They had, like, 10 straight hits. I don't know. And all of a sudden, one day, no more hits. They yeah. disappeared. But my story with Huey Lewis was that, I my radio show, people would bring up Huey Lewis and I say, you know, that's not his that's not his real hair, that's a wig. <laughs> this is my joke, you know. Like, and people would say, Huey Lewis. I say, I mean the guy with the wig. So now one night I'm out to dinner at a restaurant in Marin, and who's at another table but Huey Lewis? And he looks <laughs> over and notices me and grabs his hair and goes, <laughs> <laughs> It's real, folks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he had he had ear problems, right? He has ear, why, yes. Yeah, he has yeah. a bad, bad ear problem. Uh, yeah. That he can't listen, he can't hear the music. He can't yeah. listen to it because it's oh. painful. Uh, that happens to a lot of rock stars. Yeah. Listening to his music makes it is painful. It was for me too. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, I, thought, I thought he was pretty good at writing hits. Okay. Yeah, that 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 style at that time was good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was a great little band. Great little band. And then, uh, yeah, what about Bruce Willis? Bruce Willis is having a hard time just to communicate, right? Or verbally. Uh, right? uh, well, he's living. got, he's, he's got, he's got uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, dementia. I, I keep forgetting the name of the term. Uh, of the uh, dementia, Alex. Huh? Type of dementia, though. Dementia. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a certain yeah. kind, yeah. I mean, it's so sad. He was such a big action star, and all of a sudden, they can hardly. Yeah, you look at Sylvester Stallone and, and uh, you know, all these guys, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, all these guys are still going on. And yeah, yeah like Charlie says, you think of them as when we're growing up, those are the, the guys you yeah, want to be. Right? Is, yeah. you see Chris is, Willis, it's like Chris, crazy. I know yeah. why. I know exactly. We're almost out of time here, but we can keep going. Over. No. Yeah. Uh, Amy's not coming on. Come on. No, but we we uh, when you look at uh, at uh, oh, Arnold, uh, there is so much to dislike about him. Like you can dislike him for his politics. He's a big conservative, yeah. although he he's a principled conservative. So I yeah. appreciate his his belief in what he believes in. But no matter what, he is so likable. Yeah. yeah. 
that anytime he's on a screen, you watch him. We watched a stupid movie he made the other day. It's recent. And he made made it for, or it was a series or something. It was on Netflix. And, right. and oh, man, he's just so likable and so refreshing. And he is. she doesn't like Sylvester Stallone. No, but I like Arnold. But there is a there is a documentary called Sly. I can't remember which of the channels it's on. But it's called Sly. And if yep. you watch this. Netflix. You yeah, you come away from it really appreciating him. Yeah, then you really understand that he wrote all those things, you know, and the reasons yeah. sort of why his his growing up and all this stuff. Fucking throw them all. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Barely, he was me. growing up, throw the ball. Barely got what, it what in. was that? I didn't know. <laughs> I I throw throw me. <laughs> Girl. So, <laughs> Ryan zoned out on us there. He's having trouble with his balls over there. <laughs> Barely got it. There's a whole. I don't know if how many of you have seen uh, Barbie yet. Oh, it's wonderful. But, there, minutes, but there's remember. a song in the beginning of the of the of the. There's a whole thing that goes on in the beginning. First of all, there's a song, and they're singing it, and then she says something, and then the song goes, "I was singing. Please let me continue." <laughs> in the lyrics to the song. But the thing is, they then do this whole bit about, and I can't remember what it was, but it was a play on saying, he he blowed me, she blew me, you know, it, it was, and I'm going, geez, who did they make this <laughs> film for? <laughs> you know, and that's why I love that movie. I think it was so much better than it had to be. You know, they yeah. could have just done a straight little Barbie film, had some people go to it and say, okay, that's it. But no, they had to make themselves a, a really great movie, and Marjorie liked it too, which is yeah. amazing. You know, like I think it's the best film of the year. What do I know? You know, I, who, who died made me Michael Snyder. What do you know, Alex? What I I know good movies when I see them. Yeah, I'm like Marjorie at this point who watch anything that's online. Um, True. Yeah, no, really, you watch some stuff. I can't say I couldn't sit through you know Alex, you watch them again with me no i don't yes you do what do i watch what do i watch what what about the things you watch do i watch i can't think right now but do you, you think have. people tuned into this today to hear a family argument do you really <laughs> do you see what i have to go through yeah see what i have to go through we need something to get the ratings up okay just argue <laughs> shut up about it Okay. Special place in heaven for you, Marjorie. Splash, splash wine. Thank you. Oh boy. Well, with that, <laughs> I think we'll close this whole whole thing down. I'm Marjorie saying goodbye and now. Go off. Bye. Bye. Lost. 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 First of all, thank you to to uh, our our good friend Andrew Deutsch who called today, and we appreciate it. And to Marjorie Miller who played the part of my wife today. <laughs> the one and only. Um, uh, Charlie Wallace, mm -hmm. who, when she's not there, plays my wife. Uh, <laughs> Brian, Mary, thank you so much. And of course, uh, um, um, Santa Creep. <laughs> is that still on there? Kevin, yeah. yeah it's it's still still there. There. I'll have to change that tomorrow. Again. That's still there. Who who just hung up? Who did I, Marjorie. 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 Oh, Marjorie. Marjorie. She's going to cook dinner. Oh, well, screw she's her. Finally. Her. To sign us all off. Uh, by the way, we're not doing one next Monday. We're going to do this on New Year's Eve at one at eleven thirty. Okay. Eight, oh, eleven thirty. Eight okay. thirty. Which is eight thirty in the West Coast, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Thirty on the left coast. Yeah. It's Warriors good. lost. Yeah. Uh, so we'll be here. So yeah, I just please, saw. Please <laughs> try and join us. Anyway, and finally, uh, uh, Edward Berger, who signs us off by saying. That's all, folks. There you go. Be, 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 be. Everybody, thanks for joining me today. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Okay. Merry Christmas. I'll see you Happy New Year, too. <laughs>